Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up a repository for Unity 3D using Bitbucket and SourceTree. So the very first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to need to download SourceTree onto your computer and link in the, the link in the description and then Bitbucket, create an account on Bitbucket. After you've created an account on Bitbucket, the very first step is you want to go up to the top where it says repositories, create repository. We're, I'm going to name mine Tabletop Wars, create repository. Boom, boom, boom. We're gonna copy this link in the top right of the screen. We're gonna go over to source tree. We're going to select clone new. We're going to paste that there. We're going to select these three dots to select a, a location where we want our project to be. For mine, it's going to be here. So I'm going to create a new folder. It's going to be called Tabletop Wars Repo. We're going to select that folder and we're going to click Clone. It's going to take a second. After it clones, it'll appear over here. Boom. That part's done. Now the next part is we need to add the git ignore file and push that. So the git ignore file is basically a file that tells git what files to ignore when doing a sync. So let's go in here. I already have a git ignore file. I'm going to copy that and I'm going to paste it in here. Okay, and then once I come over here, we'll see git ignore down here, which is an unstaged file. We're gonna stage that, and we are going to add a comment, which is going to say push git, git ignore. We're gonna hit this button in the bottom right that says commit, and then after that, we're going to select push. Make sure you have master selected and do a push. This will take another second, and then we'll uh, it'll come back to the screen. The git ignore file is going to be in the description. You're just going to want to copy from where it says copy from, and then copy to, and that is going to be your git ignore file. Alternatively, to create your git ignore file, you could go to the website and click this button that says create a git ignore. You can do that as well. So the next step is we want to sync our project. So in the folder where our repo is located, we're going to create another folder, which is going to be our project folder. And then we want to go to where our currently, if you have a currently established project, you want to go to where that is and select the assets in the projects folder, project settings folder, and you want to copy those. You do not copy library, OBJ, or temp. Each person that works on your project and clones it is going to have their own folder for that, so don't worry about it. Now go back into the project folder, and we're going to paste those two folders into it. It'll take a second. Boom, it's done. All right, now let's pop over to source tree again. You can see that I have 778 unstaged files, so we're going to stage them all. Get this weird funky error, but that's fine, I think. All files got staged. So now we're going to add a comment, push project files. We're going to select commit, and then we're going to do a push. Make sure that master selected and push. Now this will probably take two to five minutes, depending on the size of your project. Um, for me, it takes about five minutes. So don't worry about it if you see this and the show full output isn't changing. Okay, then after you've waited a couple minutes and you see the screen, that means that it's, it has successfully pushed your files to the master and now your project is now on the repo. And that's all you have to do to set your project up on a repo. Now anybody you add to your project on here can clone your repo and work on it simultaneously. Just make sure you guys aren't working on the same things and it'll be great if you want to add someone to your repo if you want to add somebody on your repo you just click the send invitation link here and you can add anyone you want and it's it's pretty awesome i just invited my friend and once they're added to your repo they can clone it work on it and like i said just make sure you guys don't work on the same file at the same time and the very last thing I'll show you is just creating a branch. So if you go up here and click this branch button, you can create a new branch. I'm going to call mine Aces Branch. And I'm going to create it. 
Now we're on Ace's branch. You can tell what branch you're on by the little circle and it will be in bold. And we will push this to origin. Ace's branch. Yep, yep. We'll push that. And then we'll do a push again just to make sure. And that's a branch. And in order to merge it, you have to select. So say I wanted to merge H's branch, I would double click master so that's selected. You can see by the circle. And then I would right click on H's branch and I would, where is it? Oh, merge Aces branch into current branch right here. So you'd click this button, it would merge it, and all the files would come together, and it would be great. But yeah, this is a little tutorial on how to set up a, set up a repository. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please leave the video a like. It really helps it out. Comment on what you would like to see, and uh, subscribe to my channel for more content, guys. Really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Peace.